Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel and today I have a box that you either absolutely love or you're not quite sure how you feel about it. It is of course Bird Moss. I personally love this box because I find it really creative and very unique. The idea is that each month we are brought into this alternate universe where we meet a whole cast of characters. There's always a theme but essentially it's a lifestyle box. There's usually a DIY element whether it is a recipe or a craft. Sometimes there's some bath and body, sometimes there are household goods, but I just really enjoy that uh, element of poetry that is included in the bird moss boxes as well as someone who studied poetry for a while. So let me give you the details though. It is $45 per month, but I do have a code for you. It's just my name, N-O-E-L, Noel, and that'll save you $10. As always, I'll put all of those discount codes and the links for you in the description box below. But let's go ahead and dive into our bird moss box. Now, this is the July box. She does usually ship towards the end of the month. I've had this box for a couple of weeks now. If you haven't been following along, I am just posting every other day for July and August. Uh, just giving myself a little bit of a breather, giving you as the viewers a little bit of a breather, but hopefully we'll be back to our everyday schedule in September. But for that reason, you are seeing some of the boxes that I've received a little bit later than you would normally. All right, let's go ahead and open it up. So inside we have a of course, our introductory poem, which I always like to read to you because it gives you an idea of the voice of this box. Gather pen, paper, matches. This is the start of it all, when finally, dusk begins to fall and muffle the day's noises and needs. It starts with a tug, a beckoning scent, a rustle, the faint rattle of seeds. You didn't know that you were missing from a story pouring forward in another place. You break the seal, and feel the skating brush of a wing. So you break that seal on that lovely dark tissue paper and you enter this magical world of bird moss and maybe you feel that brush of a wing, that um, opportunity to delve into another world. So for July, the theme was the snails, unhurried. I love snails, I think they're great. I mean, if like any sort of little creature, if you look at it too closely, it can be give you like kind of the creeps a little bit. But snails, I think, are just, you know, they're just doing their thing. Um, and I think just in general, the like kind of cartoon versions of them are adorable. So let's read on the back because again, this is another introduction for the theme. When you move slowly, your world becomes larger. It's almost like the uh, idea of Hugo, right? The snails inhabit a world filled with detail, like catching drops of water, cloudy puffs of spores from towering mushrooms, the lace left behind as leaves decay, like such evocative images there. The snails know that between two trees, there is a halfway point and between two points, there is another. They slow their movements and the world around them balloons in an infinite faceted mosaic. Each snail builds her own path, sliding over the ever expanding forest floor. She leaves silvery sigils in her wake. So that snail trail, of course, that uh, is a sigil in the world of bird moss. All right. Then we also have a nice parchment paper letter that is always annotated for us that tells us about the individual items inside of the box. So I'll do my best to interpret these items. I love the way that they are presented as part of this story, even though we can see them from our world as the objects that they are. So it says, after a downpour, uh, you dream to a spot deep in the forest and make yourself small. Snails like cool, dark, wet places may come out at night. So true. You have to be careful in the morning after a rainy night, right? So let's see what else it says. We have one, two, three, four, five, six items. And then usually at the very bottom, there's going to be a little um, hint at the next month's theme. These do tend to sell out quite uh a, a few weeks in advance sometimes. Oh goodness. Uh, so you might want to get in on it if this looks like something that you might enjoy. And again, you can save $10. Sometimes there's sign up bonuses, whether that's like a free little mini gift box or whatever she's got going, I highly suggest checking it out. We do have a nice uh, note here at the bottom. Oh my goodness. So there's like a whole little like letter. So I'm not sure what that is, but we'll figure it out. It looks like in August, 
we're going to explore the far shore and we have a sand dollar charm. So usually there is a charm, so you could definitely be collecting this, these and making a charm bracelet or some other craft out of the charms that we receive in this box. And I love that. I will actually be on a far shore when you are all watching this video. Hopefully, fingers crossed, my travels go well and I get some good weather, but I will tell you all about that when I get back. All right, let's see. The first thing that we have is the mushrooms beneath the moon canvas pouch so a cute little canvas pouch you arrive in a world of mushrooms lit by the moon a rainstorm is coming to an end it has stirred up the scent of earth and bark and petrichor spurred by lightning strikes and rumbling thunder new mushrooms have sprouted in just the last hour snails of all sizes delighted by the damp coolness emerge to explore and eat so it is double-sided nice and soft good zipper on it but it's very flexible no lining in it but a nice canvas pouch all right we also have let's see it says that we've got a wood pendant and I found it it says this is your snail guide snails help the mushrooms flourish they disperse the fungal spores so we have a wooden pendant a warm colored snail approaches you oh goodness it's a big wooden pendant but it did uh, come with a chain so that's kind of nice approaches you and invites you to accompany her to the still place. It is a spot for meditation, for moving in slow circles, and for humming. It's the snail's sacred place. To call a snail from its shell, hum a low, slow tune. Now, this is kind of a big uh, necklace pendant for me, even though I would normally wear a snail pendant. This one's a little bit big for me personally, but I do think it is a fun item and it's got a really pretty shell. You can really see all the striations in that pendant. All right, we also have a crystallized snail gastropod fossil. I'm guessing that that's what this is. Hold on, let me just open up one of our other boxes real quick. I'm guessing that's what this is. Hmm. I think it's this in this little jewelry case. It says here the snails have arranged pebbles, nutshells, and insect casings in elaborate patterns. You spot a few empty snail shells and discern that it is also used for funeral rites. Uh, the most revered artifacts are spiral-shaped fossils. During fossilization, the ancient snails were transformed into amber-colored agate stone. Your guide encourages you to take one to contemplate in quiet moments. Add it to your altar or curiosity shelf, but always regard it with respect. So this is an example of an item that I think is just so cool. You're not going to get this from any other subscription box, right? A fossilized gastropod. But... On the uh, use level, it might not be the most useful thing because you're just using it to display, maybe putting it with your stones. I think it is really a gorgeous piece and a really cool item to receive. Um, but I can see how on the other end, you know, you're spending your hard earned money for your subscription boxes. So if you don't have sort of decorative fun trinkets and treasures that you keep in a box or a basket somewhere, I could see that this would not be a high value item to you. But for me, just for the uniqueness of it, uh, I do think it is really really cool and I love that she presented it in that nice uh, jewelry package which these I'm collecting because they are so great for travel because they prevent oxidization um, but also it makes it easy to see the jewelry pieces that you bring with you all right we also have for our DIY item, it says pulling seeds, Job's Tears bracelet kit. So I won't necessarily pull this all out, but it says among the pebbles and mushrooms, you find some glossy bead-like seeds. In bird moss, pulling seeds are used to draw out pain and heat, and in manifestation, work to attract luck and positive outcomes. Work with them in multiples of three, five, or seven. These seeds grow a natural hole in their centers, allowing them to be strung like beads. So we just have this nice wire that's already in a perfect circle shape and then let's see what else we have I think this might be maybe this is some like essential oil or something we have plenty of beads in here which I won't take out because I don't want them to go rolling across the floor but we do have some nice um we do have some nice instructions here so it just says that you thread the number of pulling seeds onto your bracelet that you'd like use a loop of tape to make it easier to handle the tiny silver end caps uh, dip one end of the bracelet wire into a drop of the provided glue oh that's what it is and then hold it in the drilled part of a silver bead for about five seconds repeat with the other end allow the glue to cure for an hour before wearing your bracelet Na nail polish remover can dissolve stray straps 
drops of glue so in here i don't know if you guys can see it see those little silver beads at the bottom those are meant to be the end caps for your bracelet which then can be nice and kind of open so that you can always um adjust it and make it fit on your wrist i actually think that is a really cool craft i love that she included everything even the glue and those little end pieces all right, we also have um, a mischievous snail. It says a magnetic finial. You notice a small sta snail following you at a short distance. You lose track of him and are surprised when he appears in front of you. He repeats this process a few times, leaving your sight and then popping up in unexpected places. Perhaps in your home, he will appear on door hinges and drawer pulls. Um, so it's showing, uh, oh, the golden ratio, of course, which is often... Um, you we see that in a snail shell. So it's so cute. It's just like a little finial, just a little end cap, and it's got a magnet at the bottom. So you can basically, like they said, you could put it on to um, door hinges. That would be adorable. He could pop up in all kinds of unexpected places. I love that. I'm gonna see if I can just hold that here for you so you can see our cute little snail finial. I love that. It's so sweet. It says three coffee beans, five birds of the sea, and seven pulling seeds. I don't know what that mystical magic is all about, but I love this. I think it's a little decorative item, but so far it is my absolute favorite. You guys, let's actually have a secret password, and you guessed it already. It's going to be snail. So when you come across a secret password in one of my videos, you want to enter it along with your contact information uh, in the Google form that's linked for you in the description box below and in the pinned first comment. Please don't put it into the comments. About five days after the closing of the giveaway form, so that's going to be after September 5th, so probably on September 6th, I will use a random number picker to select a few winners to receive mystery boxes as my way of saying thank you for watching my videos you do have to be 18 years or older you have to have a US or Canadian mailing address Canadians I need some help with the shipping because it is a little extra costly to send things up to you but I want you to be able to participate you do have to be subscribed to my channel it does not have to be publicly I can verify with you via email and just as a reminder it is not affiliated with YouTube or any of the boxes that I open here on the channel although sometimes I do do box sponsored giveaways haven't done one for a while have to do one of those soon but it is just my way of saying thank you for watching my videos i do truly appreciate your support but today's secret password is snail this is definitely my favorite little guy i think it's so cute i want to put it on like i don't know if i have a pen that has enough metal at the end to this stick but I love the idea of drawer pulls and hinges and placing him there. And they really did nestle him nicely into this little box. All right, we have one last item, and that is our letter to Lucinda. It says, a windblown paper has found its way to the forest. It is a letter addressed to a familiar sounding name. Oh, goodness. Look, we have... Speaking of which, we have a cute little octopus drawing here. See, there's all these fun little drawings along the sheet, and you can see all these little extra handwritten notes. I just think it's delightful. So let's see what this letter says. Now, I have not gotten my glasses yet. Uh, my um, optometrist, their lab is a little bit behind, so I'm going to have to see if I can read this. It says, Saturday, baking day for me, for some, but not for me. Oh, Lucinda, having run low on various supplies, I am back at my cabin. I'll take a few few days to unpack and chart all of the specimens I've collected. In any case, it will take some time for this batch of tinctures to mature so I can siphon them into their little vials. You always ask about what I see in my rounds, so I'll tell you the creatures are moving languidly this summer. I spied a chipmunk dozing in the sun. They're usually so brisk. However, everyone seems to feel a growing trepidation about the coming season. They're renewing their stockpiles and storing up their burrows shoring up their burrows will it be a cold winter as you can imagine i miss my friend under this safe soak oak trees she prefers to spend most of her time alone this morning i noticed a bright green beetle in the garden so perhaps she's thinking of me too i was grateful for your gift of pulling seeds when i caught a thorny splinter in my thumb will you teach me how to grow them they'd be handy to have on my rounds quick dreaming M. So this has very like a Griffin and Sabine vibes to me. And if you haven't ever read that book series, it is delightful. It is told in letter form, epistolary. Um, and you get all these fun little clues about this relationship. So if you've been a longtime Bird Moss subscriber, then perhaps uh, it is a familiar sounding name. But if not, 
it's okay to be a new um, subscriber to Bird Moss and have this be your first entry point. You can really enter this world at any time and be welcomed by all of the creatures. Uh, so I think that this is a good place to end. We'll do a quick little review of everything. So we got our lovely little mushroom pouch where the snails like to hang out. We got our snail guide wooden pendant. We got our crystallized snail fossil, which I think is awesome our Pauline Seeds Job's Tear Bracelet Project. That might be one of my favorite projects we've gotten for a while. Uh, not the most useful item, but still delightful. And again, something that you wouldn't get in other boxes, a little magnetic finial. And then finally, our mysterious letter to Lucinda. So of course, the letters, not necessarily like the most functional, high value items, same with the finial or maybe even the um, fossil, but the kit, that allows you to be a little creative and make your own accessory. The necklace, of course, and the pouch, all fun things that you can use and just sort of allow yourself to slip into this alternative world on occasion. You guys let me know in the comments below, do you like snails or you just consider them hazards after a nice rain? But I do like that idea of slowing down towards the end of the summer when it's just so hot that you can't do anything else uh, and getting ready to be cozy and shore up your burrows for fall and winter. But let me know what you thought about this curation. Don't forget there was a secret password and I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.